Hey YouTube, uh, this is Vargas and I am back again with another DVD update. Um, uh, picked up about two weeks worth of stuff through Movie Freak Bazaar. Uh, I usually like to let everything save up and uh, go in a month's time. But uh, it's been two weeks and I happen to be near where his spot is. And uh, I was like, I'm already here, I might as well pick everything up. So this is two weeks worth of purchases. Uh, then I'm going to split into two videos, so I'll, you know, I don't make these really long videos. Uh, I, some people, I, myself included, I kind of do like long videos uh, of people showing off their DVDs. Um, but I know some people don't like that and they like short videos. So I'm, I'm trying to make these uh, shorter so they're easier to, to watch. So let's get started. <clears throat> uh, first one, a, a lot of these are blind buys. There are um, a lot of movies that I have never seen before. Um... But as a movie lover and collector, I, I do like getting these really weird um, movies I've never seen because I like to watch them. I, I like watching movies, so it's a lot of blind buys. So I don't, I won't really have that much to talk about. But some of them, I, I think I might have seen. I, I might not. I, I might have only seen them once and barely remember them. But I do know that the, a lot of these are complete blind buys that of stuff I've never seen. So, uh, like this one, <laughs> this thing, this one is, has star uh, Josh. Hutcherson and Hayden Panettiere, is that how? And Alfred Molina, the Forger. Uh, according to the back, uh, jo Josh Hutcherson from the Hunger Games plays this kid that, to make ends meet, uh, becomes a forger of art, and uh, he meets uh, Hayden's character, who you know inspires him to, like you know, go go um, go the straight path and not be a, a criminal, basically. But of course, the people that he's worked with doesn't want to let, don't want to let him go because he's making money with his really good forgeries apparently. So yeah, uh, picked up this one. Uh, might be good. I don't know. Another one that might be good. I don't know. Stars Lacey Chaber. Ch Ch Chabert. I never. I can never pronounce her last name. Uh, but she was in Mean Girls, and this is anything is possible. This is a movie where, uh, from what I've seen, because I actually looked this one up after uh, the purchase. Uh, she's uh in the military, and so her son doesn't see her that often. But then, um, he wants to become a music a musician, so that uh you know she's able to hear his music. I I assume. So yeah, might be might be pretty good. So picked up that one. This one I do remember seeing the trailer, but I never got around to watching it, so I I don't really know what it's about. I just know that it stars uh, Jennifer Garner, uh, Eugenio Derbez, who's a uh, relatively big comedian here in Mexico, and Queen Latifah, and that's Miracles from Heaven. Again, I've only seen the trailer. I do not <laughs> know one thing about this movie other than the cast, and it's uh, it's about uh, the daughter has an incurable disease, and she's trying to find a way to, to cure her. So, uh, yeah. Picked up that one. This one I might have seen once, but the thing about watching a lot of movies, <laughs> especially the kind of movies that I see, because I'm all over the place. I watch horror movies, action movies, um, martial arts movies, which is I consider different than action. Uh, TV shows, everything. I pretty much uh, I'm into any kind, any type of movie. So they tend to, especially at my old age, they tend to blur. So I might have seen this one. I don't remember. But starring Kristen Dunst, it's Crazy Beautiful. The name sounds familiar. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen it at least once. But I didn't have it in the collection. And this one has a number of special features. So I was like, well, I don't have it in the collection. And I, I, I think I've only seen it at one time. So I might as well pick it up. And I finally got a copy of Crazy Beautiful. This one's another blind buy. <laughs> I don't know thing one about it. Uh, but it stars Colin Firth, and uh, my wife actually has a thing for Colin Firth because, if I'm not mistaken, he was Mr. Darcy in one of the Jane Austen adaptations. So she loves him, and uh, also has Lena Headley, Lena Headey, uh, Russell Brand, and that's a Saint Trinian's School for Bad Girls. So again, no idea what this one is about. Uh, total blind buy, but uh, I picked it up. This one, I, I know of it because it's kind of infamous in a lot of uh, worst movies ever made lists. Um, 
anytime I read uh, one of these uh, worst of movies, this one's always here along with Glitter with Mariah Carey and uh, the one with the two American Idol winners and uh, a number of movies. And <laughs> again, I collect a lot of different genres and, and I have a lot of different um hunt lists and the one of those among many one of those is the worst of uh, I, I what uh, a lot of people watch a movie and say oh this is the worst movie ever made and I watch them like well I've seen worse I've seen way <laughs> worse movies than, than that uh, but sometimes I, I do watch a movie uh, out of curiosity for on one of those lists and I'm like yeah okay that that movie's pretty bad uh, yeah that movie's bad I'll give you that one but I like experiencing that you know I, I like I don't, I, I don't know. It's it's the way that I enjoy movies. I like watching awesome stuff that I can rewatch a hundred times, and I like you know randomly watching something uh, out of the blue because that's how I grew up uh, renting movies and watching them on TV. It's it's kind of like how I'm hardwired when watching movies. So um, I actively do track down these worst of movies whenever I I find them to watch them for myself. And again experience whether or not it's really bad or good and this is one that gets talked about a lot and this is crossroads with britney spears i've never seen it uh i've actually never come across it on dvd for some reason this is the, the first time that I've, I've come across this one on dvd so uh it has a lot of special features actually so i'm i'm, I'm surprised i guess they really really wanted to sell this thing somehow and special features was the way to go but uh yeah yeah Pick this one up and I'll see what the hubbub is about. Uh, picked up this one. Uh, Popstar, Never Stop Stopping. Uh, I'm hoping this is uh, as good as Hot Rod. Well, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, it stars the same guy. Uh, from, uh, what was that? Ah, he's in a TV show with Terry Crews. Ah, shit, I, I forgot the name. I'm, I'm At my old age, I'm really bad with names. <laughs> But again, uh, I'm hoping it's in the same style as Hot Rod, which is actually pretty cool. But it looks to be like a spoof on uh, the pop star, as the name suggests, on the whole pop star thing. So we'll see how this one is. It's probably funny, but again, I've never seen it. Uh, picked up this one, uh, starring Meryl Streep and ha Tom Hanks, The Post. Again, no idea. have not seen this one, but Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep, it has to be good. Because they're they're always solid in the roles that they have, so I'm 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 gonna assume this is pretty awesome. So picked up that, picked up this one. Uh, another blind buy uh, stars Jason Bateman, Hope Davis, and Frank Grillo, uh, and Alexander Skarsgård. Uh, disconnect. No idea. No idea. Uh, Uh, it's just it's about uh, a, cu a couple that uh, are in threat of having all their secrets exposed online and uh, other stuff. So I, I guess it's a drama about the life of modern online uh, or the, the, <laughs> the dangers of living online so much where you post everything online or you have things on the cloud and someone can hack it. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's what this is. But uh, so I don't know. It might be like a cyber drama. John, John, John. And the uh, last one I think I'm going to share in this one is a movie by Rob Schneider. And I, I it's been a while since I've seen the movie. I've seen him in anything, actually. Um, the last movie I think I saw theatrically with Rob Schneider was um, Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo. Maybe that one is the last one I saw him in. Uh, without him appearing in cameos, I think I'm pretty sure he was in Hubby Halloween. He he made a cameo as one uh, an escape mental patient in that one. Uh, but he was just like a, a side character. But him in the starring role, I think the last one I saw of uh, with him was uh Deuce Bigelow, uh European Gigolo. But this one is uh the chosen one. So I don't know. Uh, Rob Schneider is, is, is hit or miss. A, a lot of his movies, not gonna lie, they're pretty bad. Some of his movies are, are enjoyable. I, I actually like him in The Animal. I thought he was pretty good, good in The Animal. Um, was it The Hot Chick? The one where he swaps bodies with a girl and Rob Schneider's a girl trapped in this, like, horrible body. I thought that one was funny. Um, 
And the the first uh, Deuce Bigelow uh, male gigolo I thought was funny. Uh, after that, I'm not gonna lie, the movies aren't aren't, aren't that good. So this one, uh, I'm not expecting much, but uh, we'll see what's what. So, yeah. So, um, I'm terrible at this. I, I, I try to remember, but I, I tend to forget on recommending the standouts of the collection. Um, if it's anything like Hot Rod, I, I'm going to say that this one is going to be good. Uh, but I haven't seen it, so don't quote me on that. But that's the one I'm going to go with as the best one of the haul. Because uh, I'm, I'm hopeful for that one. But if it sucks, I'll, I'll let me know. <laughs> I still have to go get around to watching it, but uh, yeah, let me know if, if it's if it's really bad. But until I see you all again, which will be uh, momentarily once I stop this video, I'll record the second one. But between the time that I edit it and actually post it, will it'll be a while. But until I see you all again, thanks so much, or you you see me again, which makes more sense. <laughs> Please leave a like if you'd be so kind. Leave a comment. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, uh, please subscribe. I've been doing this for a while and I would really, really like for my channel to, you know, actually grow and justify <laughs> uh, the time that I invest to recording these videos, which my wife does not, does not like. Right? She does not like, she does not like me uh, buying so many movies and uh, recording the YouTube videos. But, uh, well, I was like that when she met me. So anyway, <laughs> but I would like to see the, the channel grow a little bit. So if you like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.